Hey there guys, uh, Carl here with Trial by Studios, and um, as you can tell by my voice, I am a little bit under the weather uh, this week. I actually have COVID, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I'm quarantining, which means that I wasn't able to get together with Josh this week and record a video. Also, my throat is in no shape to record audio anyway. Um, so, Josh, God bless him, he... Um, he took the time this week to record the video, edit the video, and uh, basically take care of everything for me this week. Um, so, first of all, thanks, Josh. Uh, second of all, this is his first solo video. Uh, so, please be nice. Um, let him know that you appreciate his uh, his effort and get bringing you guys a video this week. And uh, with that, I hope you enjoy it. Hey, everybody. This is Josh with Trilobite Studios, and I'm doing a solo video today. Woohoo! Um, Carl is a little under the weather, so he wasn't able to join for this one, but today I'm going to try to answer a, uh, YouTube comment on Could We by, uh, Chad Arnold, sorry, that Could We kind of break down Isla Sorna? Um, kind of difficult to break down Isla Sorna because there are three different versions depending on which Isla Sorna you're looking at. You have the film uh, version, the book version, and the video game Trespasser version. I'm sure there's a few other versions like video, other video games and uh, comics, but those are the three big ones that uh, from my research that are mostly talked about. So a little information on Site B, because I'm going to mostly focus on the film version, because that's the one most people know. Um, it is located 207 miles off the west coast of Costa Rica, and it's separated throughout the middle of the island between large channels and a mountain range. On the west, you have the tropical rainforest, kind of like uh, Isla Sorna and the rest of Costa Rica and stuff like that and on the east is a coastal redwoods which is a lot more drier climate um, and stuff like you know uh, drier more plains kind of pines that type of stuff which I guess California ish parts of California so engine bought the island uh, to use as the factory floor for their Jurassic Park project, which originally was going to be Jurassic Park San Diego. However, in 1985, John Hammond decided to move the park operations to Isla Nublar, which was 87 miles away from Site B. So probably better on shipping the animals and all that. Uh, now, later in 85, Engine would successfully clone the first prehistoric animal, a Triceratops, the first animal to pr prove viable in the modern age, and it had, you know, probably behavioral quirks and skin infections, but hey, you know, it was the first uh, living dinosaur in the modern world, so not really much to go off of back then, you know. Uh, in between 85 to 93, Engine would ramp up the production of more prehistoric animals, including the f most famous of Engine's creations, Rexy, and eventually her six siblings. Because Rexy got moved to Isla Nublar after a year of age, so the rest of the uh, Tyrannosaurus stayed on Site B. Site B. And we eventually see two of them. Uh, in the Lost World, and then if you watch Camp Cretaceous, I'm thinking Big Edie was another one from the original six. Um, we know Little Edie was her daughter, and the Tyrannosaurus on from JP3, I don't really know what that one's from. I, I don't know if that was a hatchling from another rex or was that one of the original six they never really explained it they just you know threw it on screen to get killed by the spinosaurus uh now this part is a disclaimer i want to say because it more of an event for the novel uh site b but i do believe that since the second movie in the uh took a heavy inspiration from 
uh, Michael Crichton's Lost World novel mixed with uh, Steven Spielberg's ideas so I kind of believe that this all flows so eventually it's supposed to flow together but it got kind of lost in translation is I believe that Injun had the problem with the DX disease if you read the book you know what that is uh, for those that don't haven't read the book it's a sheep extract protein um, it's kind of like a, the most mild form of virus there is where you have to actually ingest the protein in order to become sick so I guess like rabies and mad cow disease but on like a much smaller scale of infection but same outcome uh, so in by October 10th 1988 engine was feeding the uh, what carnivores they had that were growing at a mince rate because Dr. Wu has figured out how to age them uh, kind of like in the double years. So it's like every year they actually are doubling twice. Kind of like the extract. Like I said, with uh, in one of the batches apparently was uh, infected with the DX disease. So now that that caused an outbreak. So the nurse, so animals in the nursery were that were scheduled or that weren't, excuse me, not scheduled for uh, Isla Nublar at the moment were released into the wilds of Isla Sorna. And by December, the animals handlers believed that it worked, but by, you know, releasing them, they don't, they didn't have that much problems with it. However, they pretty much just prolonged the inevitable re-extinction of the dinosaurs that way. Because they still had the disease i mean you release compies that eat the excrements of the herbivores and the uh, meat of the sheep and then you know they they spread it around to the other populations um now this is the part where it kind of diverse into two possible uh, scenarios for me at least is we know in movie canon uh, that in 1994 Hurricane Clarissa hits Site B, Isla Sorna, and drives Injun away from the island. And all the animals that you know weren't already released were released, and so now you have all these animals running around with no one to watch them or anything like that. The animals that, you know, engine were still working on with the DX disease, uh, those animals were now among the others. So that's spreading more rapidly now if it was already. And eventually, I think at that point, if that was the continuation even with the second film in 1997, I do believe that eventually Site B would have been a void of dinosaurs if it wasn't for the later on Jurassic World supposed storyline. Where, you know, Dr. Wu goes back to uh, Isla Sorna, makes illegal dinosaurs, and then Mashrani uh, decides to reamp the Jurassic Park idea with Jurassic World. If it wasn't for that part, and that part, uh, like I said, in particular, all the animals on Site B, I believe, would have been completely wiped out, and that would have been the end of it. You know, if it wasn't for the T-Rex uh, kind of coming to, well, no, it wasn't the T-Rex, but it wasn't. It was if it wasn't for Engine trying to reinvest their at loss assets with the reopening of Jurassic Park San Diego I do believe that all the animals on site B would have been probably dead from the DX disease eventually um, probably by the 2000s early 2000s because if it's like if it's the same version of it in the novel it should 
uh, the novel was like said that you know all these animals they had a high population of carnivores uh, compared to the herbivorous animals the herbivorous animals were not reaching full age uh, or full you know size and it was just way too many um, of the spreading of the DX disease from from compies you know eating scavenging and biting uh, other animals and all this other stuff so they, the disease probably would have wiped them out if it wasn't for the Masrani storyline kicking in uh, after 97. However, I do the other leg of a problem that or a question I have, and maybe someone in the comments can answer this one is when we get in the movie Jurassic Park 1993, we follow Dr. Grant and the others as they're getting from a tour of the facilities and they get to the uh like the laboratory within the visitor center and it's a fully functioning lab they can produce animals there they can you know do all their research that they were doing on site b now on isla nublar so what would have happened if you know, Jurassic Park was a success. What would have happened to Site B after that point? That's my question. And maybe we can start a discussion in the comments about this. I don't know. But I would like to hear some of your all thoughts. And I'm sorry this is kind of a short video. But there wasn't, without Carl, I guess there's not really a lot of back and forth with this one. It's just my thoughts in general. And I do hope that uh, Chad Arnold that answers this kind of answers your questions uh like i said this is my first uh, solo video and i'm just kind of winging it uh to try to answer your uh, question the best i can uh please subscribe uh leave a comment in the video thumbs up or follow us on twitter uh this is josh signing off bye